Bakan. Once upon a time, far away from the city, Mother Goat and her seven kids lived happily in a farm in the forest. All animals worked hard in the farm and lived in harmony, supporting one another. The division of work in the farm ran smoothly. Everybody did their part willingly. Of course, after all this hard work, a vacation was earned. Mother Goat was looking forward to going on holiday with her kids. The little goats were dreaming about their holiday. I wonder where Mom is taking us this year. I wonder that too. I wish we could visit a far away historical city. I would like to get a nice tan at the beach and go swimming. I want to go hiking, climb rocks, and watch the beautiful landscape. I want to go scuba diving and swim with the fish in the deep waters. And I want to get to town in a secluded island and read books. Just then, the door opened. It was Mother Goat. She opened her bag as the curious little goats watched. She got out a big envelope. I got our vacation here. She opened the envelope. There were eight tickets. Are we going by train? By plane? Where are we going? Not one place, but many. We're going on a cruise ship. The little goats couldn't believe their ears and began to dance happily. Yay! It's going to be a great holiday. See that? The ship even has a pool. With a slide. Hooray! Holiday! Here we come. We're leaving tomorrow. Everybody prepare their own luggage. We should go to bed early tonight. The little goats prepared their luggage excitedly and went to bed early. They all dreamed the same dream. A huge floating entertainment center with pools and game areas. They arrived at the port. The ship was much bigger than they had imagined. Meanwhile, a pair of eyes was watching the little goats from afar. It was none other than the big bad wolf. He was thinking about how to devour those happy, clueless little goats. <laughs> so, you're going aboard the ship then, you miserable little goats. So am I. We'll see what you'll do when you've got no place to hide in the middle of the sea. <laughs> It was departure time, and the little goats were so excited to visit the most beautiful islands. The ship finally left the port. People waving on the dock noticed that there was a stowaway on the ship. Of course, it was none other than the big bad wolf sneering, waving back abaft. Once the ship sailed in the open sea, Wolf sneaked into the ship's doors to hide for a while.
While Mother Goat was tanning, the little goats were running around on the very huge deck. Some were jumping in the pool and some used the pool slides. They were having a great time. Wolf left his hiding place wearing a disguise after a while. He could now blend in with the others. The bad wolf was walking back and forth by the pool, thinking about how to get his hands on the little goats. Then he saw Mother Goat laying down by the pool. You silly wolf, why bother with seven little goats? The mother would be enough. He knew he had to come up with a plan at once. He began plotting. Alright, got it. <laughs> A few minutes later, a voice blared on the ship's loudspeakers. That voice was in fact very familiar. Mrs. Mother Goat! Mrs. Mother Goat! You are expected at the restroom! Oh, not that. You are expected at the ship's store immediately! Mother Goat got up when she heard Wolf's fake announcement. Keep playing, children. I'll be back in a minute. Look after my belongings. However, the little goats were suspicious of the situation. Am I the only one who thinks this voice is familiar? No, it's really familiar. Something's going on. It's like... Uh, this voice is... Big Bad Wolf! But Mother Goat didn't hear them and disappeared. The little goats got out of the pool immediately. We have to do something now! There has to be a way to earn Mother. You two, try to find where Mother went. The others stay with me. Two little goats went after their mother at once. The other goats went to the stateroom to alert the captain about the situation. There was a sailor at the entrance of the stateroom. What's up, kids? Lost your way? No! We have to see the captain immediately! What is it so important that you little kids want to see the captain? There's a wolf on board! Ha 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 ha! A wolf on board! Ha 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 ha! And he's after our mother! Ha 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 So there's a wolf on board and he's after your mother! Ha 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 You don't believe us? Come on, kids, go play somewhere else. The captain has more important things to deal with. Crestfallen, the poor kids left the stateroom and went back to the deck. It seems we're gonna have to take care of it on our own. The little goats that went after Mother finally found her. Bad Wolf had trapped Mother Goat in the ship's store. We have to save our mother. Be quiet. Wolf could be around. Now you're doomed. Bad Wolf captured one of the little goats, but the other one was fast and managed to escape. 
His heart was beating fast in his chest from fear. Quick, help! What's going on? Bad Wolf captured our brother too! Oh no! What can we do now? We'll save them! But how? I have a plan! What are our chances against the big wolf? He's just so strong and huge. He may be strong, but we can beat him using our brain. Remember, mother always says, reason is superior to brute strength. True, let's get to work then. The little goats huddled to come up with a plan to save their mother and sibling. Just then, Wolf had tied the little goat up next to Mother Goat. Don't be scared, my child. We'll get out of here. The little goats intended to save Mother Goat and their siblings before dinner time. Or else it'd be too late. They went to the ship's door immediately. Once they got there, they began to shout as loud as they could. Soon after, Wolf got out to see what was going on. Not only my dinner, but a whole month's food is here. Wolf opened the door suddenly and lunged at the little goats. But the goats knew Wolf would fall for this trick, so they run fast. Wolf chased after them. There was a lot of running around on the ship's hallways. The little goat skidded to a stop in front of an ajar door and went inside. Wolf did the same too and shut the door behind him. But to his surprise, Wolf found many children running toward him instead. Wolf then realized the little goats had tricked him, but it was too late. The children lunged at Wolf, some were tugging his tail, some were biting on his ear, and some took him for a pillow and hugged him tightly. Then, a child pulled Wolf's whiskers forcefully, so Wolf ran for his life and threw himself into the sea. Reason proved once more to be superior than brute strength. Mother Goat and the Little Goats happily continued their holiday. Hey guys! Subscribe to our channel Kondo-san and watch the most popular fairy tales, cartoons, and nursery rhymes. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications.